in the village of Silvervale, nestled between rolling hills and whispering woods, there lived a young girl named Luna. She was known for her love of adventure and her fascination with the mystical powers of the moon. One night, as Luna gazed up at the sky, she noticed something extraordinary. The moon was glowing brighter than ever before, casting a magical light over the land. Inspired by its beauty, Luna made a wish upon the shimmering moonlight. I wish for the most enchanting adventure under the magic moonlight, she whispered, her heart filled with anticipation. To her astonishment, the moonlight began to dance and swirl, forming a pathway that led deep into the heart of the forest. With a courageous spirit, Luna followed the trail, her senses tingling with excitement. As she journeyed deeper into the woods, she encountered wondrous creatures she had only dreamed of, twinkling fireflies, graceful deer, and playful fairies who flitted among the trees. But the true magic awaited her at the heart of the forest, where she stumbled upon a hidden clearing bathed in the ethereal glow of the moon. In the center of the clearing stood a majestic unicorn, its coat shimmering like silver in the moonlight. The unicorn beckoned Luna forward with a gentle nudge of its horn, inviting her to join it on a magical journey through the night. Without hesitation, Luna climbed onto the unicorn's back, her heart pounding with exhilaration. Together, they galloped across meadows of moonlit flowers, soared through the star-strewn sky, and delved into the depths of shimmering lakes where mermaids sang sweet melodies. As dawn approached, Luna realized that her adventure was coming to an end. With a pang of sadness, she bid farewell to her newfound friend and returned home, her heart brimming with memories of her magical journey under the magic moonlight. From that day forth, Luna treasured the memory of her dreamy adventure, knowing that the magic of the moon would always guide her on the most enchanting journeys of all. Once upon a time in the enchanted land of Everdream, there lived a dragon named Draco. Unlike other dragons who loved to hoard treasures and breathe fire, Draco was different. He was known as the Dreamy Dragon because he spent his days imagining wondrous adventures in faraway lands. One night, as Draco lay under the twinkling stars, he made a wish upon a shooting star. I wish to embark on the most magical adventure ever seen, he exclaimed. Little did he know, his wish would soon come true. The next morning, Draco awoke to find himself in a lush meadow, filled with colorful flowers and towering trees. Beside him stood a mischievous fairy named Aurora. I am here to grant your wish, dreamy dragon, she said with a twinkle in her eye. With a joyful roar, Draco thanked Aurora, and together they set off on their dreamy adventure. They soared high above the clouds, danced with the stars, and swam in crystal clear lakes. As they journeyed through enchanted forests and mysterious caves, Draco discovered the true magic of friendship and imagination. Along the way, they encountered friendly elves, wise old wizards, and even a playful unicorn. But their adventure took an unexpected turn when they stumbled upon a dark and gloomy castle, guarded by a fierce ogre. Determined to help, Draco and Aurora bravely faced the ogre, and with a sprinkle of fairy dust, they turned his frown into a smile. In the end, Draco realized that the greatest adventure of all was the journey within. With his newfound friends by his side, he returned home to Everdream, where he continued to dream up magical adventures for years to come. And so, the dreamy dragon's wish 
had come true, proving that with a little imagination and a lot of heart, anything is possible in the land of dreams. In a hidden glen, where moonbeams danced upon the emerald leaves and fireflies waltzed in the night, there lived a young fairy named Aurora, with hair spun from golden sunlight and wings adorned with the colors of the dawn. Aurora was known far and wide for her love of adventure and her boundless imagination. One quiet evening, as the stars twinkled in the velvet sky and the gentle breeze whispered secrets through the trees, Aurora found herself yearning for a new adventure. With a mischievous twinkle in her eye, she decided to explore the mysterious, enchanted forest that lay beyond the shimmering veil of moonlight. As Aurora fluttered through the forest, her heart filled with excitement and wonder she stumbled upon a hidden glade bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. In the center of the glade stood a majestic oak tree, its branches reaching up to touch the stars. Curiosity piqued, Aurora approached the tree and discovered a tiny door nestled within its gnarled trunk. Without hesitation, she pushed open the door and stepped into a world of enchantment. Inside, Aurora found herself in a cozy little room, adorned with twinkling fairy lights and shimmering crystals. In the center of the room sat a small table, upon which lay a tiny parcel wrapped in silver paper. With trembling hands, Aurora unwrapped the parcel and gasped in delight as she discovered a tiny glass vial filled with sparkling stardust. A note nestled beside the vial read, Sprinkle this stardust upon your dreams and watch as they come to life in the world of imagination. Eager to put the stardust to the test, Aurora closed her eyes and sprinkled it upon her dreams. And in an instant, she found herself soaring through the sky on the back of a shooting star, weaving through galaxies and dancing among constellations. As Aurora's dreamy adventure unfolded, she realized that the greatest surprises often come from within, and that the magic of imagination knows no bounds. And so, with a heart full of joy and a mind filled with wonder, Aurora returned home, ready to embark on many more dreamy adventures in the enchanting world beyond the stars. Once upon a time, in a quaint little village, nestled amidst rolling hills and whispering trees, there lived a young girl named Lily. Lily was known for her sparkling eyes that held a world of wonder within them, and her insatiable curiosity that often led her on adventures. One starry night, as the moon cast its silvery glow over the land, Lily found herself unable to sleep. Restlessness tugged at her heart, urging her to explore the mysteries of the night. Gazing out of her window, she noticed a shooting star streaking across the velvet sky, leaving a trail of shimmering stardust in its wake. Excited by the magical sight, Lily slipped out of her cozy bed, donned her cloak, and tiptoed out into the night. The village was bathed in an ethereal glow and the air was filled with the soft hum of nocturnal creatures. With each step, Lily felt as though she was stepping into a world of enchantment. As she wandered through the silent streets, she stumbled upon a hidden pathway veiled by ivy and moonbeams. Without hesitation, she followed the path, her heart pounding with anticipation. Soon, she found herself standing at the edge of a vast forest, its ancient trees reaching up to touch the stars. With a mischievous grin, Lily ventured into the forest, 
her senses alive with the whispers of unseen magic. She danced among the fireflies, chased after elusive shadows, and listened to the songs of nightingales weaving through the trees. But just as she thought her adventure couldn't get any more enchanting, she stumbled upon a clearing bathed in the soft glow of moonlight. In the center of the clearing stood a majestic oak tree, its branches adorned with glowing orbs that twinkled like stars. Intrigued, Lily approached the tree and reached out to touch one of the glowing orbs. As her fingers brushed against its surface, she felt a surge of warmth spreading through her, filling her with a sense of wonder and joy. Suddenly, the orbs came to life, swirling and dancing around Lily in a mesmerizing display of light and color. With a laugh of pure delight, Lily joined in the dance, twirling and spinning beneath the starlit sky. And so, beneath the canopy of the night, Lily's dreamy adventure unfolded, filled with magic, wonder, and the boundless possibilities of the starry night. And as the first light of dawn painted the sky in hues of pink and gold, Lily returned home, her heart brimming with memories of her magical journey under the stars. In a sleepy town, nestled between rolling hills and whispering woods, there was a magical spectacle that unfolded only when the moon kissed the sky, the nighttime circus. It was said that the circus appeared when dreams were at their peak, drawing children from far and wide to witness its enchanting wonders. One moonlit night, a young girl named Mia discovered a golden ticket tucked beneath her pillow, inviting her to the extraordinary event. With excitement bubbling in her heart, Mia followed the twinkling lights that led her through the forest to the circus grounds. As she entered the mystical tent, Mia found herself transported to a world of wonder and awe. Acrobats danced on beams of moonlight, jugglers spun stars in the air, and clowns painted smiles on the faces of the audience. But the true marvel of the nighttime circus was its centerpiece, a carousel adorned with creatures of myth and legend. Mia climbed aboard a majestic unicorn, her heart racing with anticipation as the carousel began to spin. As the music swirled around her and the night sky danced above, Mia felt herself being carried away on a dreamy adventure. She rode through fields of lavender and meadows of moonflowers, her laughter mingling with the soft whispers of the night. But just as Mia thought her adventure couldn't get any more magical, she heard a voice calling her name from the shadows. Peering into the darkness, she saw a lonely puppeteer, his strings tangled and his spirits low. With a kind smile, Mia approached the puppeteer and offered him a helping hand. Together, they wove tales of wonder and whimsy, bringing the puppeteer's creations to life with the magic of their imaginations. As the night drew to a close and the stars began to fade, Mia bid farewell to the nighttime circus, her heart brimming with memories of her dreamy adventure. And as she returned home, she knew that the magic of the circus would live on in her dreams filling her nights with endless possibilities and enchanting delights. In a land where dreams were as real as the waking world, there lived a young girl named Alara. Alara had always been fascinated by the mysteries of sleep, where reality blurred with imagination and dreams painted the canvas of the night sky. One evening, as the stars began their nightly dance and the moon cast its silver glow over the land, 
Alara found herself yearning to explore the realm of dreams like never before. With a heart full of curiosity and excitement, she closed her eyes and whispered the magic words, Into dreamland we go. In an instant, Alara felt herself being whisked away on a wisp of moonlight, soaring through the starlit sky and into the realm of dreams. As she opened her eyes, she found herself standing in a land of wonder and enchantment, where rivers flowed with liquid moonlight and clouds drifted like fluffy pillows in the sky. Eager to begin her dreamy adventure, Alara set off on a journey through the surreal landscape her senses alive with the sights, sounds, and scents of the dream world. She danced with fairies beneath the shimmering auroras, soared with dragons among the clouds, and wandered through enchanted forests where trees whispered secrets of ages past. But as Alara ventured deeper into dreamland, she encountered a dark and tangled thicket blocking her path. Undeterred, she summoned her courage and pressed on, determined to uncover the secrets hidden within. As she emerged on the other side, she found herself face to face with a slumbering dragon, its scales gleaming in the moonlight. With gentle words and a kind heart, Alara approached the dragon and offered it a shimmering orb of stardust. To her surprise, the dragon awoke from its slumber, its eyes sparkling with gratitude and wisdom. With a gentle nod, it beckoned Elara to climb upon its back, and together they soared through the night sky, painting constellations with trails of stardust and weaving dreams into the fabric of the universe. And so, with the dragon as her guide, Elara embarked on the most extraordinary dreamy adventure of all, discovering that true magic lies not only in the wonders of the dream world, but also in the courage to chase your dreams wherever they may lead. Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom nestled between rolling hills and sparkling streams, there lived a gentle creature known as the Sleepy Time Unicorn. This unicorn was unlike any other, for instead of galloping through meadows and frolicking in the sunshine like its kin, it spent its days wandering through the land of dreams. Every night, as the stars twinkled overhead and the moon cast its silver glow upon the world, the sleepy time unicorn would close its eyes and drift off into a realm of wonder and imagination. There, amidst the soft clouds and shimmering stars, it would embark on the most marvelous dreamy adventures. One night, as the sleepy time unicorn slumbered peacefully beneath the starlit sky, it found itself whisked away to a far-off land of enchantment. In this magical realm, colorful butterflies danced on the breeze, and fields of wildflowers stretched as far as the eye could see. But amidst the beauty of this dreamy paradise, the sleepy time unicorn sensed a hint of sadness lingering in the air. Determined to uncover the source of this melancholy, it set off on a quest to bring joy and happiness to the land. As it journeyed through the dreamy landscape, the sleepy time unicorn encountered a host of whimsical creatures, from mischievous fairies to friendly dragons, each with their own hopes and dreams. With a kind heart and a gentle spirit, it listened to their tales and offered words of encouragement, spreading warmth and joy wherever it went. And as the sleepy time unicorn ventured deeper into the heart of the dreamy realm, it discovered the source of the sadness, a majestic castle shrouded in darkness, its towers crumbling and its gardens overgrown with thorns. 
determined to bring light and laughter back to the castle, the sleepy time unicorn called upon its magical powers, weaving spells of enchantment and casting away the shadows that had plagued the land. And with each flick of its silvery mane, the castle began to sparkle and shine once more, its halls echoing with the sound of laughter and song. At last, the kingdom was filled with joy and wonder once more, thanks to the bravery and kindness of the Sleepy Time Unicorn. And as the sun rose on the horizon, painting the sky with shades of pink and gold, the unicorn bid farewell to its newfound friends and returned to its slumber beneath the stars, ready to embark on yet another dreamy adventure when night fell once more. For in the realm of dreams, where the sleepy time unicorn roams, anything is possible, and the greatest adventures are yet to come. Once upon a time, in the heart of the enchanted forest, there lived a young girl named Alara. Alara was known far and wide for her boundless imagination and her insatiable thirst for adventure. She spent her days wandering through the lush greenery of the forest, dreaming up fantastical tales of far-off lands and daring escapades. One day, as Alara roamed through the forest, she stumbled upon a hidden glen bathed in golden sunlight. In the center of the glen stood a shimmering pool, its waters sparkling like diamonds in the sun. Curiosity peaked, Alara approached the pool and gazed into its depths. Suddenly, a voice whispered from the waters, what is it that you seek, young adventurer? Startled, Alara replied, I seek adventure and excitement beyond compare. I long for dreamy adventures and thrilling escapades. The waters of the pool began to swirl and churn, and from its depths emerged a beautiful fairy clad in shimmering robes of blue and silver. I am Celestia, the guardian of dreams, the fairy said. If it is dreamy adventures you seek, then I shall grant your wish. But beware, young Alara, for the path ahead is fraught with peril. Undeterred, Alara nodded eagerly, her eyes shining with excitement. With a wave of her hand, Celestia summoned forth a magnificent steed, its coat the color of moonlight. Together, Ilara and her newfound companion set off into the unknown, their hearts filled with anticipation. Their journey took them through dense forests and across rushing rivers, each step bringing them closer to the fulfillment of Alara's wildest dreams. Along the way, they encountered fearsome dragons, cunning witches, and noble knights, each encounter more thrilling than the last. But as they ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, they soon found themselves facing their greatest challenge yet, a towering mountain shrouded in mist and mystery. Determined to conquer this final obstacle, Ilara and her steed pressed onward, their spirits undaunted by the daunting task ahead. With courage and determination, they scaled the treacherous slopes of the mountain, overcoming every obstacle in their path. And as they reached the summit, they were greeted by a breathtaking sight. A vast kingdom spread out before them, its spires reaching up to touch the sky. At long last, Alara had found the adventure she had always dreamed of, and she knew that her journey was just beginning. With the wind at her back and the sun on her face, she rode forth into the unknown, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. For in the world of wishful thinking, anything is possible, and dreams are only a heartbeat away. And as long as there are dreamers like Alara, the spirit of adventure will live on forevermore.
Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and whispering woods, there lived a young girl named Lily. Lily was enchanted by the night sky, especially when the moon cast its silver glow over the land. Her heart was filled with dreams of magical adventures under the moonlit sky. One warm summer night, as the stars twinkled and the moon beamed brightly, Lily decided to embark on a thrilling journey. With a small knapsack filled with snacks and a sense of wonder in her heart, she tiptoed out of her cozy cottage and ventured into the forest. Under the gentle light of the moon, the forest seemed like a mystical realm filled with secrets waiting to be discovered. As she wandered deeper into the woods, Lily stumbled upon a clearing bathed in moonlight, and there, to her amazement, she found a group of creatures unlike any she had ever seen before. There were playful pixies dancing among the fireflies, their laughter echoing through the night. Wise old owls perched on branches, sharing tales of ancient wisdom, and nestled in a bed of moonflowers, a family of friendly foxes greeted her with curious eyes. Overjoyed by her newfound friends, Lily joined them in their moonlit revelry. Together, they embarked on a series of dreamy adventures that took them to enchanted meadows, shimmering lakes, and hidden caves filled with sparkling treasures. As the night wore on, Lily realized that her heart was brimming with happiness. She had found true companionship and experienced the magic of the night in ways she had never imagined. But as the first light of dawn began to peek over the horizon, she knew it was time to bid farewell to her moonlit friends. With tears of gratitude and promises of future adventures, Lily said her goodbyes and made her way back home. As she slipped into her bed, the memories of her moonlit escapade filled her dreams with wonder and delight. From that night on, whenever the moon graced the sky with its radiant presence, Lily would gaze up and remember her dreamy adventures with her moonlit friends, knowing that magic was never far away for those who dared to dream. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there existed a mystical place known as the Enchanted Forest. It was a realm of towering trees, sparkling streams, and curious creatures that danced among the ferns. In this wondrous forest, dreams were not just figments of imagination, but the very fabric of reality. One sunny morning, a young girl named Emily set out on a quest into the heart of the enchanted forest. With her trusty companion, a mischievous squirrel named Nutmeg, by her side, she ventured deeper and deeper into the emerald greenery, her heart a flutter with excitement. As they wandered beneath the dappled sunlight and listened to the gentle whispers of the trees, Emily and Nutmeg stumbled upon a hidden glade bathed in golden light. There, they discovered a portal shimmering with magic, a gateway to the realm of dreams. Without hesitation, Emily took Nutmeg's paw, and together they stepped through the portal into a world where reality and imagination intertwined. They found themselves surrounded by fields of flowers that sang melodies of joy and rivers that flowed with liquid stardust. In this dreamy realm, Emily and Nutmeg embarked on countless adventures. They soared through the sky on the backs of radiant butterflies, danced with fairies under the glow of the moon, and shared secrets with wise old trees that whispered tales of forgotten lore. But as the sun began to dip below the horizon, casting hues of pink and orange across the sky, Emily knew it was time to return home. With a heavy heart, she bid farewell to her newfound friends 
and stepped back through the portal, Nutmeg by her side. As they emerged from the enchanted forest, Emily felt a sense of wonder and contentment wash over her. Though her adventure had come to an end, the memories of her dreamy escapades would stay with her forever, reminding her that magic existed not just in fairy tales, but in the boundless depths of her imagination. And with Nutmeg by her side, she knew that even the wildest dreams could come true. Once upon a time, in a peaceful village, nestled by a sparkling river, there lived a young boy named Oliver. Oliver was always filled with wonder and curiosity, yearning for adventure beyond the boundaries of his everyday life. One sunny morning, Oliver decided to embark on a dreamy adventure. He fashioned a small boat out of twigs and leaves, imagining it as his vessel to explore the unknown wonders of the world beyond the river. With a heart full of excitement, Oliver launched his tiny boat into the gentle currents of the river. As he drifted downstream, the world around him transformed into a magical realm of enchantment and possibility. He floated past towering trees that whispered secrets in the breeze and fields of wild flowers that danced in the sunlight. Birds of every color soared overhead, their melodic songs guiding Oliver on his journey. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of pink and gold, Oliver's boat drifted into a mysterious mist that cloaked the riverbanks in an ethereal glow. In the distance, he spotted a shimmering light beckoning him forward. With a sense of wonder, Oliver followed the light until he reached a hidden cove, illuminated by the soft glow of fireflies. There, he discovered a gathering of friendly woodland creatures, a wise old owl, a playful fox, and a gentle deer, who welcomed him with open arms. Together, they shared tales of faraway lands and daring escapades, their laughter mingling with the rustle of leaves and the gentle murmur of the river. And as the stars twinkled overhead, casting their silver light upon the water, Oliver realized that his dreamy adventure had led him to the most magical place of all, home. With a contented sigh, Oliver bid farewell to his newfound friends and guided his boat back to the village. As he drifted back to shore, he knew that no matter where his dreams may take him, the memories of his enchanting boat ride would always fill his heart with joy and wonder. And so, with a twinkle in his eye and the promise of many more adventures to come, Oliver fell asleep under the stars, dreaming of the endless possibilities that awaited him on the river of dreams. In a quaint coastal village, nestled between rugged cliffs and rolling waves, there lived a young girl named Marina. Marina's heart was filled with a deep longing for adventure, especially for the mysteries that lay beneath the shimmering surface of the sea. One night, as the moon cast its silvery glow over the tranquil waters, Marina drifted off to sleep with dreams of the ocean dancing in her mind. In her dreams, she found herself standing on the shore, the salty breeze ruffling her hair as the waves beckoned to her with their siren song. With a sense of wonder and excitement, Marina waded into the water, feeling the cool embrace of the sea envelop her. As she swam deeper and deeper, she discovered a world beyond her wildest imagination. A world where colorful fish 
darted among coral reefs, and graceful dolphins danced in the sunlight. But just as Marina was beginning to lose herself in the beauty of the underwater realm, she heard a soft voice calling out to her. It was a gentle mermaid, her hair flowing like strands of seaweed, who had been watching Marina's adventures with curiosity. The mermaid introduced herself as Celeste and invited Marina to join her on a journey to explore the hidden wonders of the sea. With a nod of excitement, Marina eagerly accepted, and together they set off on their dreamy adventure. They swam through underwater caves adorned with shimmering crystals, chased playful sea turtles through fields of swaying seaweed, and even encountered a majestic whale whose songs echoed through the ocean depths. As dawn began to break on the horizon, Marina knew that her time in the sea was coming to an end. With a heavy heart, she bid farewell to Celeste and the enchanting underwater world, knowing that she would forever cherish the memories of her dreamy adventure beneath the waves. When Marina awoke the next morning, she found herself lying on the sandy shore, the sounds of the ocean lapping at the shore filling her ears. And though her adventure had come to an end, she knew that the dreams of the sea would always hold a special place in her heart, reminding her that the greatest adventures often begin with a single dream. In a quaint cottage, nestled at the edge of a mystical forest, there lived a kind old woman known as Granny Willow. She was a master weaver, skilled in the art of creating dream catchers that ensnared nightmares and let only sweet dreams pass through. One evening, as the stars twinkled in the night sky and the moon cast its silvery light upon the land, Granny Willow decided to share the tale of the Dreamcatcher's origin with her grandchildren. Long ago, in a time when dreams held great power over the world, there lived a young girl named Luna. Luna possessed a special gift, the ability to weave dreams into reality. With her trusty companion, a wise old owl named Orion, by her side, Luna embarked on dreamy adventures that took her to the farthest reaches of the imagination. But one night, as Luna slept beneath the stars, she was plagued by terrible nightmares that threatened to consume her. Determined to protect her from harm, Orion flew to the highest peak of the tallest mountain and sought the guidance of the Dreamweavers, the ancient guardians of dreams. The Dreamweavers listened to Orion's plea and gifted him with a magical web made of moonbeams and stardust. They instructed him to bring the web to Luna and weave it into a delicate net, a dream catcher that would ensnare nightmares and allow only sweet dreams to pass through. With the dream catcher in hand, Orion returned to Luna's side and placed it above her bed. From that moment on, Luna slept peacefully, her dreams filled with wonder and delight, while the dream catcher worked its magic, protecting her from the shadows that lurked in the night. And so, inspired by Luna's courage and the power of her dreams, Granny Willow began weaving her own dream catchers, passing down the tale of the dream catcher's origin to future generations. As Granny Willow finished her tale, her grandchildren listened with wide-eyed wonder, their hearts filled with the magic of the Dreamcatcher's tale. And as they drifted off to sleep that night, surrounded by the gentle glow of moonlight, they knew that their dreams would be safe and filled with adventure, thanks to the enchanting legacy of Luna and the Dreamweavers.
Once upon a time, in a sleepy village nestled between rolling hills and whispering woods, there lay a secret garden known as the Nighttime Garden. This enchanted place was unlike any other, for it bloomed only under the cover of night, its flowers opening their petals to the soft glow of the moon. One night, a curious girl named Eliza discovered the hidden entrance to the nighttime garden while chasing fireflies through the forest. With a sense of wonder in her heart, she stepped through the ivy-covered gate and into a world of magic and mystery. As Eliza wandered through the moonlit pathways, she encountered a host of fantastical creatures. A wise old owl perched on a branch, a mischievous fox playing among the flowers, and even a gentle unicorn grazing on the dew-kissed grass. Together, they embarked on dreamy adventures that took them to the far corners of the nighttime garden. They danced with fairies under the shimmering light of the stars, listened to the songs of crickets and frogs by the tranquil pond, and chased shooting stars across the velvet sky. But as the first light of dawn began to peek over the horizon, Eliza knew that her time in the nighttime garden was drawing to a close. With a pang of sadness, she bid farewell to her newfound friends and stepped back through the ivy-covered gate, vowing to return again one day. As she emerged from the garden, the first rays of sunlight kissed her cheeks, and Eliza knew that she had experienced something truly magical. And though the nighttime garden would forever remain a secret to the rest of the world, its memory would live on in Eliza's heart, filling her dreams with wonder and enchantment for years to come. Once upon a time, there was a hidden island known as Fantasy Island, tucked away in the vast expanse of the ocean. This island was unlike any other, for it existed solely in the realm of dreams and imagination. On Fantasy Island, dreams became reality, and every child's deepest desires were brought to life. It was a place of endless adventure, where the impossible became possible and where the wonders of the imagination knew no bounds. One day, a young boy named Jack stumbled upon a mysterious map that led him to the shores of Fantasy Island. With a heart full of curiosity and excitement, Jack set sail in a small boat, guided by the gentle whispers of the wind and the shimmering light of the stars. As Jack approached the island, he was greeted by a chorus of singing birds and the sweet fragrance of blooming flowers. Everywhere he looked, he saw wonders beyond his wildest dreams, magical creatures frolicking in the fields, towering castles that reached for the sky, and forests alive with the sound of laughter. But the true magic of Fantasy Island lay in its ability to turn dreams into reality. With each step he took, Jack found himself living out his deepest fantasies. A knight on a quest to rescue a princess, an astronaut exploring the far reaches of outer space, and even a pirate searching for buried treasure. As the sun began to set on Fantasy Island, Jack knew that his time there was drawing to a close. But as he sailed away from the shores, he carried with him memories of the countless adventures he had experienced and the friends he had made along the way. And though he returned to the world of reality, Jack knew that Fantasy Island would always hold a special place in his heart, a place where dreams came true and where the spirit of adventure lived on forever. And as he closed his eyes that night, he drifted off to sleep, eager to return to the magical realm of Fantasy Island once again. In a kingdom
kingdom far, far away, nestled among rolling hills and whispering forests, there was a village known as Dreamhaven. In Dreamhaven, the night sky was adorned with countless stars that twinkled like diamonds. But among them shone one star that was different from all the rest, the Sleepy Time Star. Legend had it that the Sleepy Time Star held the power to grant the most wondrous dreams to those who gazed upon it before bedtime. Every night, children from all corners of Dreamhaven would gather in the village square to make a wish upon the Sleepy Time Star, hoping for adventures beyond their wildest imaginations. One night, a young girl named Lily made her wish upon the Sleepy Time Star. With a heart full of hope and excitement, she closed her eyes and drifted off to sleep, dreaming of soaring through the sky on the back of a magnificent dragon. In her dream, Lily found herself in a magical realm filled with towering castles, lush forests, and shimmering lakes. With the dragon as her faithful companion, she embarked on a series of dreamy adventures that took her to the highest peaks and the deepest valleys of the enchanted land. Together, they rescued a band of merry elves from the clutches of an evil sorcerer, discovered hidden treasures guarded by mischievous pixies, and danced with fairies beneath the glow of the moon. And through it all, the sleepy time star watched over them, its gentle light guiding them on their journey. As dawn broke over Dreamhaven, Lily reluctantly opened her eyes, knowing that her dreamy adventure had come to an end. But as she rose from her bed and looked out the window, she saw the sleepy time star still shining brightly in the sky, filling her heart with hope and wonder. From that night on, Lily knew that no matter where her dreams may take her, the sleepy time star would always be there to guide her on her next magical adventure. And as she drifted off to sleep each night, she would close her eyes with a smile, eager to see where her dreams would take her next. In a quaint village nestled at the foot of a misty mountain, there lived a young boy named Oliver. With eyes full of wonder and a heart brimming with courage, Oliver dreamt of embarking on grand adventures and becoming a hero. One starry night, as Oliver lay beneath a blanket of twinkling stars, he heard whispers carried by the wind. The whispers spoke of a fearsome dragon that dwelled atop the mountain, its fiery breath casting a shadow of fear over the village. Determined to prove his bravery, Oliver set out on a dreamy adventure to confront the dragon. Armed with nothing but a wooden sword and his unwavering courage, he climbed the winding path that led to the dragon's lair. As he ascended higher and higher, the air grew thick with anticipation. Finally, Oliver reached the summit and stood face to face with the mighty dragon, its scales gleaming in the moonlight. But instead of breathing fire, the dragon spoke in a voice as gentle as a summer breeze. Why have you come, little one? it asked curiosity sparkling in its eyes. I have come to face you, to prove that even the smallest among us can be heroes, Oliver declared, his voice steady despite the tremble in his heart. The dragon regarded Oliver with a wise gaze, then nodded in understanding. Very well, brave child. But first, let me share with you a secret. And with that, the dragon revealed that it was not a fearsome creature, but a guardian of dreams. The dragon explained that it had been watching over the village for generations, safeguarding the dreams of its inhabitants. But as time passed, people had forgotten the importance of dreaming, and the dragon's powers had begun to fade. 
Filled with compassion, Oliver vowed to help the dragon reignite the dreams of the village. Together, they embarked on a quest to inspire hope and imagination in the hearts of the villagers. With each tale they shared and each adventure they undertook, the villagers rediscovered the magic of dreaming. And as their dreams flourished once more, so too did the dragon's powers, its scales shimmering with newfound strength. In the end, Oliver had not defeated a fearsome beast, but instead had forged a bond of friendship with a gentle guardian. And though he may not have slain a dragon in battle, Oliver had proven himself a hero in the truest sense, bringing light to the darkest corners and igniting the flames of imagination for generations to come. And so, the legend of the little hero and the dragon lived on, a testament to the power of dreams and the bravery that lies within us all. Once upon a time, in a whimsical garden nestled between towering oak trees and fragrant blossoms, there lived a young butterfly named Bella. Bella wasn't like the other butterflies who fluttered lazily from flower to flower. No, she was different. Bella dreamed of grand adventures beyond the confines of the garden. Every night, as the moon cast its gentle glow over the garden, Bella would perch atop a delicate rose petal, gazing up at the stars with wonder in her eyes. She dreamed of soaring through vast skies, exploring distant lands, and discovering hidden treasures. One bright morning, as the sun painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, Bella made a bold decision. With a flutter of her wings, she took flight, leaving the safety of her garden home behind. She soared high above the treetops, feeling the cool breeze ruffle her wings as she embarked on her dreamy adventure. Through meadows and valleys, over mountains and rivers, Bella flew, her heart filled with excitement and joy. Along the way, she encountered all manner of creatures, wise old owls, playful squirrels, and friendly rabbits who shared tales of far-off lands and enchanted forests. As Bella journeyed further, she encountered challenges and obstacles that tested her courage and determination. But with each challenge, she grew stronger and braver, her dreamy spirit guiding her onward. Finally, after many days of wondrous exploration, Bella arrived at a magical kingdom hidden amidst the clouds. Here, she discovered a world beyond her wildest dreams, a land of sparkling rivers, towering castles, and colorful gardens blooming with exotic flowers. But as Bella explored this enchanted kingdom, she came upon a great and mighty dragon who guarded a treasure beyond compare. Determined to prove her bravery, Bella confronted the dragon her wings shimmering with courage. To her surprise, the dragon did not breathe fire or roar in anger. Instead, he smiled kindly and spoke in a voice as gentle as the whispering wind. Brave little butterfly, he said, you have journeyed far and shown great courage. As a reward for your bravery, I shall grant you the greatest treasure of all. The magic of your dreams. With a flick of his mighty tail, the dragon unleashed a shower of sparkling stardust that enveloped Bella in a shimmering glow. And in that moment, Bella realized that the true magic of her adventure was not found in distant lands or hidden treasures, but within her own heart. Filled with gratitude and joy, Bella bid farewell to the Enchanted Kingdom and soared back home to her garden, where she shared her tale of dreamy adventure with all who would listen. From that day forth, Bella's garden was filled with laughter and wonder, 
as she inspired others to follow their dreams and embark on their own bold adventures, just like the brave butterfly who dared to dream. And so, the legend of the bold butterfly lived on, a timeless tale of courage, kindness, and the magic of dreaming big. In a cozy little cottage nestled on the edge of a bustling town, there lived a small but brave kitten named Luna. Luna wasn't like the other kittens who spent their days chasing butterflies and napping in the sun. No, Luna dreamed of embarking on thrilling adventures beyond the confines of her home. Every night, as the moon cast its silvery glow over the world, Luna would curl up by the window, gazing out at the twinkling stars with wonder in her eyes. She dreamed of exploring distant lands, meeting new friends, and having daring escapades. One fateful evening, as a shooting star streaked across the sky, Luna made a bold decision. With a flick of her tail and a determined glint in her eyes, she slipped out of the cottage and into the cool night air. Through moonlit meadows and shadowy forests, over babbling brooks and misty mountains, Luna journeyed, her heart filled with excitement and curiosity. Along the way, she encountered all manner of creatures, wise old owls, mischievous mice, and friendly foxes who shared tales of far off lands and enchanting adventures. As Luna ventured further, she encountered challenges and obstacles that tested her courage and resolve. But with each challenge, she grew stronger and more determined, her dreamy spirit guiding her onward. Finally, after many nights of wondrous exploration, Luna arrived at a shimmering lake surrounded by whispering willows. Here, she discovered a hidden pathway that led to a magical garden blooming with colorful flowers and sparkling streams. With a fearless leap and a graceful bound, Luna bounded into the garden, her senses tingling with excitement. Inside, she found a world of wonder and enchantment, where flowers danced in the breeze and fireflies twinkled in the moonlight. But as Luna explored the garden, she stumbled upon a wicked witch who guarded a treasure beyond compare. Undeterred by the witch's menacing glare, Luna stood tall and faced her with courage in her heart. To Luna's surprise, the witch was not as fearsome as she appeared. Beneath her gruff exterior lay a heart filled with loneliness and longing. Touched by Luna's bravery and kindness, the witch revealed the true nature of the treasure, a magical amulet that granted wishes to those pure of heart. With a grateful smile and a grateful heart, Luna accepted the amulet, knowing that the greatest adventure of all was the journey of friendship and discovery that lay ahead. And so, with the amulet in paw and dreams in her heart, Luna bid farewell to the magical garden and bounded back home to the cozy cottage, where she shared her tale of courage and adventure with all who would listen. From that day forth, Luna's cottage was filled with laughter and joy as she inspired others to follow their dreams and embark on their own courageous adventures, just like the brave kitten who dared to dream. And so, the legend of the courageous kitten lived on, a timeless tale of bravery, friendship, and the magic of dreaming big. Once upon a time, in a lush meadow, nestled between rolling hills and babbling brooks, there lived a young bunny named Benny. Benny wasn't like the other rabbits who spent their days nibbling on clover and hopping about the meadow. No, Benny 
dreamed of embarking on daring adventures beyond the safety of his burrow. Every night, as the stars painted the sky with their twinkling light, Benny would lie awake, imagining the wonders that lay beyond the meadow. He dreamed of soaring through the clouds, exploring distant lands, and discovering hidden treasures. One bright morning, as the sun peeked over the horizon, Benny made a brave decision. With a thump of his fluffy tail, he left his cozy burrow behind and hopped out into the wide world beyond. Through fields and forests, over hills and valleys, Benny journeyed, his heart filled with excitement and anticipation. Along the way, he encountered all manner of creatures, wise old owls, playful squirrels, and friendly foxes who shared tales of far-off lands and magical realms. As Benny ventured further, he encountered challenges and obstacles that tested his courage and determination. But with each challenge, he grew stronger and braver, his dreamy spirit guiding him onward. Finally, after many days of wondrous exploration, Benny arrived at a shimmering lake surrounded by towering trees. Here, he discovered a hidden pathway that led to a mysterious cave nestled deep within the forest. With a deep breath and a flutter of his ears, Benny ventured into the cave, his heart pounding with excitement. Inside, he found a glittering chamber filled with sparkling crystals and gleaming treasures beyond imagination. But as Benny gazed in wonder at the riches before him, he heard a faint cry for help echoing from deeper within the cave. Without hesitation, he followed the sound, his brave heart leading the way. At the heart of the cave, Benny discovered a family of lost baby birds trapped in a tangled nest. With gentle paws and quick thinking, he helped the baby birds escape to safety, earning their eternal gratitude. As Benny emerged from the cave, the sun setting behind him, he realized that the greatest treasure of all was not found in gold or jewels, but in the joy of helping others and the thrill of embarking on daring adventures. Filled with pride and happiness, Benny hopped back home to the meadow, where he shared his tale of bravery with all who would listen. From that day forth, the meadow was filled with laughter and wonder, as Benny inspired others to follow their dreams and embark on their own brave adventures, just like the courageous bunny who dared to dream. And so, the legend of Brave Bunny's adventure lived on, a timeless tale of courage, kindness, and the magic of dreaming big. Once upon a time in the quaint village of Willowbrook, there lived a young lad named Thomas, with hair as golden as the sun and eyes as blue as the sky. Thomas was known throughout the village for his boundless imagination and fearless spirit. He dreamt of daring adventures and far-off lands where he could be a hero like the legendary Captain Courage. Every night, Thomas would lie in bed and imagine himself sailing the vast seas, battling fierce pirates and rescuing damsels in distress. His dreams were filled with excitement and wonder, and he longed for the day when he could turn his fantasies into reality. One day, as Thomas was wandering through the forest, he stumbled upon a mysterious old chest hidden beneath a thicket of bushes. With trembling hands, he lifted the lid and gasped in amazement at the treasures inside. There, nestled among jewels and gold coins, was a weathered map depicting uncharted islands and perilous waters. Determined to follow in the footsteps of his hero, Captain Courage, Thomas set sail aboard his makeshift raft, guided by the stars and his unwavering courage. 
as he journeyed across the ocean. He encountered fierce storms and treacherous sea creatures, but he pressed on, undeterred by the challenges that lay ahead. After many days at sea, Thomas finally reached the island marked on the map. To his astonishment, he discovered a hidden cove filled with shimmering treasures and sparkling gems. But his joy was short-lived when he realized that the island was guarded by a fearsome dragon, its fiery breath lighting up the night sky. Summoning all his courage, Thomas faced the dragon head-on, armed only with his wits and his indomitable spirit. With a roar that shook the earth, the dragon lunged forward, but Thomas stood his ground, determined to prove himself a worthy successor to Captain Courage. In a thrilling battle that seemed to last an eternity, Thomas outwitted the dragon with his quick thinking and bravery. With one final blow, he vanquished the beast and claimed the treasure as his own. As Thomas sailed back to Willowbrook, his heart swelled with pride and accomplishment. He may not have been a real captain like his hero, but he had proven that courage and determination could turn even the wildest dreams into reality. And so, the legend of Captain Courage lived on, inspiring generations of children to chase their dreams and embark on their own daring adventures, wherever they may lead. Once upon a time in a quaint village, nestled amidst rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a kind-hearted girl named Bella. Bella was known for her gentle nature and her love for exploring the wonders of the world around her. But Bella had a secret. She often found herself the target of bullies who teased her for her dreams of grand adventures. Despite the hurtful words and cruel taunts, Bella refused to let the bullies dampen her spirit. Instead, she found solace in her dreams, where she could embark on thrilling adventures beyond the confines of her village. One day, as Bella wandered through the forest, lost in her daydreams, she stumbled upon a hidden glen bathed in golden sunlight. In the center of the glen, stood a majestic oak tree, its branches reaching toward the sky like outstretched arms. Drawn by curiosity, Bella approached the tree and found herself enveloped in a shimmering light. To her astonishment, the oak tree began to speak, its voice gentle and wise. Fear not, dear Bella, the tree murmured. I have watched over this forest for centuries and I know the desires of your heart. I shall grant you the power to turn your dreams into reality. With a wave of its branches, the oak tree bestowed upon Bella a magical amulet that shimmered with an otherworldly glow. With this amulet, Bella could summon forth her dreams and embark on fantastical adventures. Filled with excitement, Bella returned to the village and faced her bullies with newfound confidence. With a flick of her wrist and a whisper of magic, she transported herself and her tormentors to a wondrous realm where dreams took flight and adventures awaited. Together, they soared through the skies on the backs of majestic dragons, delved into the depths of enchanted forests, and danced beneath the stars in fields of shimmering moonlight. And with each passing moment, Bella's bullies learned the power of kindness, empathy, and the magic of dreaming big. As the sun began to set on their dreamy adventure, Bella and her former bullies returned to the village, their hearts brimming with newfound understanding and friendship. No longer were they adversaries, but companions bound by the bonds of shared dreams and shared experiences. And so, the village was filled with laughter and joy, as
as Bella and her bullies embraced their newfound friendship and embarked on countless dreamy adventures together. For in the end, they learned that true strength lies not in tearing others down, but in lifting each other up, and that the greatest adventures are the ones we share with those we love. Once upon a time, in the enchanting land of Evergreen Glade, there lived a tiny snail named Sammy. But Sammy was not just any ordinary snail. He was Super Snail. With his shimmering silver shell and a heart full of dreams, Super Snail longed for thrilling adventures beyond the leafy borders of his cozy home. One sunny morning, as dewdrops glistened on the grass, Super Snail overheard the woodland creatures chattering excitedly about the Great Garden Race. The race was a legendary event where creatures from all corners of the forest competed in a daring dash through the woods. Super Snail's heart fluttered with excitement at the mere thought of participating in such a grand adventure. Determined to join the race, Super Snail set out on his dreamy adventure. Along the way, he encountered friends who doubted his abilities due to his sluggish nature. But Super Snail remained undeterred, for he knew that dreams were like seeds. With patience and perseverance, they could blossom into something extraordinary. As the day of the great garden race arrived, Super Snail stood at the starting line, surrounded by rabbits, squirrels, and birds all eager to prove their speed and agility. The forest echoed with cheers as the race began, and Super Snail slithered forward with determination, his eyes fixed on the finish line. Despite his slow pace, Super Snail navigated obstacles with cleverness and grace. He climbed over pebbles, slid under fallen branches, and even used his sticky slime to swing across gaps. With each passing moment, Super Snail drew closer to his dream of crossing the finish line. As the other contestants raced ahead, Super Snail found himself trailing far behind. But just when all hope seemed lost, he stumbled upon a shortcut hidden beneath a canopy of ferns. With renewed vigor, Super Snail embarked on the final stretch of his dreamy adventure. At long last, Super Snail emerged from the depths of the forest and burst into the clearing where the finish line awaited. The crowd gasped in amazement as they watched the tiny snail inch closer and closer to victory. And then, with a burst of speed that defied all expectations, Super Snail crossed the finish line in a whirl of excitement and joy. The forest erupted into cheers as Super Snail was crowned the winner of the Great Garden Race. But more than the thrill of victory, Super Snail had achieved something far greater. He had shown that even the smallest creatures could accomplish big dreams with courage, perseverance, and a dash of magic. And so, as the sun dipped below the horizon and the stars twinkled in the night sky, Super Snail returned home, his heart brimming with pride, and his shell aglow with the magic of his dreamy adventure. For in the land of Evergreen Glade, where dreams take flight on the wings of imagination, anything is possible, even for a tiny snail with big dreams. Once upon a time in the quaint village of Willowbrook, Nestled amidst rolling hills and lush forests, there lived a brave young girl named Lily. With hair as fiery as the sun and eyes as bright as stars, she dreamed of daring adventures beyond the confines of her peaceful home. Every night, Lily would gaze at the flickering flames in the hearth, imagining herself as a fearless firefighter 
battling against roaring infernos to save those in need. Despite the villagers' doubts about her dreams, Lily remained steadfast in her resolve. One crisp autumn morning, a great calamity struck Willowbrook. A ferocious blaze erupted in the heart of the village, engulfing homes and spreading panic among the townsfolk. As smoke billowed into the sky and flames licked at the rooftops, Lily knew that her moment had come. With a heart full of courage, Lily donned her makeshift firefighter's helmet, fashioned from a battered old pot, and armed herself with a trusty bucket of water. Ignoring the protests of the adults, she dashed into the heart of the blaze, determined to make her dream a reality. Through smoke and ash, Lily ventured, her fearless spirit guiding her through the chaos. With each house she passed, she rescued trapped animals and helped frightened villagers to safety. Though the fire raged fiercely, Lily's bravery never wavered. As the flames began to subside and the last embers smoldered, Willowbrook emerged from the ashes, battered but unbroken. The villagers looked on in awe at the young girl who had saved their homes and their lives. From that day forth, Lily was hailed as the village's hero, her dreamy adventures inspiring all who knew her. And though she had faced down the most fearsome of fires, Lily knew that her greatest adventure was just beginning. For in the heart of every child who dared to dream, there burned a flame as bright and fierce as her own. A flame that would light the way to countless adventures yet to come. And so, with courage in their hearts and dreams in their eyes, the people of Willowbrook lived happily ever after, knowing that no fire was too great to overcome with the power of bravery and determination. Once upon a time, in a land where dreams danced on moonbeams and stars twinkled like diamonds in the velvet sky, there lay a hidden gem known as the Lullaby Lake. This mystical lake, nestled in the heart of the enchanted forest, held secrets untold and wonders unseen. Legend had it that every night, when the moon cast its silvery glow upon the still waters, the Lullaby Lake would come to life with the whispers of dreams. Children from far and wide would journey to its shores, hoping to embark on dreamy adventures beyond their wildest imaginations. One such child was Lily, a brave and curious soul with eyes that sparkled like the stars above. Ever since she was a wee little sprite, Lily had heard tales of the Lullaby Lake and the enchanting dreams it bestowed upon those who dared to seek them. One moonlit night, with her heart filled with courage and her mind brimming with wonder, Lily set out on a quest to find the Lullaby Lake. Through the twisted paths of the enchanted forest, she wandered, guided only by the soft hum of the forest and the gentle rustle of leaves. As she reached the edge of the shimmering lake, Lily gasped in awe at its beauty. The water sparkled like liquid moonlight, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of dreams. With a hopeful heart, Lily closed her eyes and whispered her deepest desires into the night. Suddenly, a wisp of silver mist rose from the waters, swirling and twirling around her like a playful breeze. It beckoned her to follow, leading her on a dreamy adventure through lands of wonder and magic. Together, they soared through starlit skies and danced with fireflies in meadows, aglow with the light of a thousand dreams. They traversed enchanted forests where trees whispered secrets of old and crossed rivers where mermaids sang haunting melodies of forgotten tales. 
as the first light of dawn kissed the horizon, Lily found herself back at the edge of the lullaby lake, her heart aglow with the memories of her dreamy adventure. With a grateful smile, she bid farewell to her mystical guide and returned home, knowing that the lullaby lake would always hold a special place in her heart. Once upon a time, nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lay a place of wonder and magic known as Dreamy Meadows. This enchanted land was like no other, where dreams blossomed into reality and adventures danced on the breeze. In Dreamy Meadows lived a young girl named Lily, whose heart brimmed with curiosity and imagination. Every night, as she drifted off to sleep, she would embark on fantastical adventures in her dreams. One moonlit evening, while wandering through the meadows, Lily stumbled upon a shimmering pond, its surface reflecting the stars above. Mesmerized by its beauty, she dipped her hand into the cool waters, and suddenly, she felt herself being pulled into a swirling vortex of light. When Lily opened her eyes, she found herself in a magnificent forest, bathed in the glow of a thousand fireflies. Trees towered above her, their branches adorned with glowing lanterns, guiding her on her dreamy adventure. With each step she took, the forest whispered secrets of forgotten tales and ancient magic. Creatures of myth and legend darted between the shadows, inviting Lily to join them in their playful games. As the night wore on, Lily encountered a wise old owl perched upon a moss-covered stump. With a gentle hoot, the owl revealed that dreamy meadows held the key to unlocking the imagination of all who dared to explore its wonders. Determined to uncover the mysteries of this magical realm, Lily journeyed deeper into the forest, her heart filled with courage and wonder. Along the way, she encountered friendly sprites weaving delicate patterns in the air, and mischievous fairies painting the sky with vibrant hues. At last, Lily arrived at the heart of Dreamy Meadows, where a majestic castle stood amidst fields of blooming flowers. Within its walls, she discovered the source of all dreams, a dazzling crystal orb pulsating with ethereal light. With a sense of awe, Lily reached out and touched the orb, feeling its energy surge through her veins. In that moment, she realized that the true magic of Dreamy Meadows lay not in the wonders it held, but in the limitless potential of her own imagination. As dawn broke across the horizon, Lily bid farewell to the enchanted land, knowing that she would always carry its spirit within her heart. And though she returned to the waking world, she knew that her dreamy adventures would continue for eternity inspiring generations to come. And so, the tale of Dreamy Meadows lived on, a timeless reminder that the greatest adventures await those who dare to dream. In a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a young boy named Oliver, whose heart was filled with dreams of adventure among the stars. Every night, he would gaze up at the shimmering sky, imagining himself soaring through the heavens on a dreamy rocket, exploring distant galaxies and mysterious planets. One day, while wandering through the village, Oliver stumbled upon a dusty old workshop hidden at the edge of town. Curiosity sparked within him as he pushed open the creaky door, revealing a treasure trove of forgotten gadgets and gizmos. Among the clutter, 
Oliver discovered a peculiar contraption, a battered old rocket, its metal frame gleaming with traces of stardust. With a gleam in his eye, he knew at once that this was no ordinary rocket. This was his ticket to the dreamy adventures he had always longed for. With determination in his heart, Oliver set to work, repairing and polishing the rocket until it shone brighter than the stars themselves. And as the final bolt was tightened and the last wire connected, he whispered a wish to the night sky to embark on the most dreamy adventure of all. With a mighty whoosh, and a cloud of sparkling stardust, the rocket roared to life, lifting Oliver high into the night sky. Through billowing clouds and past twinkling stars, he soared, his heart filled with excitement and wonder. As the rocket journeyed deeper into the cosmos, Oliver's eyes widened with awe at the sights that unfolded before him. Swirling nebulas painted with hues of violet and indigo, shimmering comets trailing streams of stardust, and planets cloaked in mystery and magic. But just as he was lost in the enchantment of the universe, a sudden jolt shook the rocket, sending it spiraling off course into the unknown. With a mix of fear and determination, Oliver gripped the controls tightly, steering the rocket through the chaos with all the courage of a true adventurer. Through asteroid fields and cosmic storms, he persevered, his resolve unwavering as he guided the rocket back on course. And as the stars began to fade and the first light of dawn painted the horizon, Oliver emerged from the depths of space, his dreamy adventure coming to an end. But though he returned to Earth with the rising sun, Oliver knew that his journey among the stars was just the beginning. For in the vast expanse of the universe, there were endless dreamy adventures waiting to be discovered. And he would embark on each one with courage, curiosity, and a heart full of dreams. Once upon a time, in a land where dreams danced in the moonlight and stars whispered secrets to the night, there existed a magical place known as Dreamy Wonderland. It was a land of endless imagination where anything was possible if you dared to dream. In Dreamy Wonderland, there lived a young girl named Lily whose heart brimmed with curiosity and wonder. Lily was unlike any other child in the village. While others spent their days playing mundane games, Lily yearned for adventure beyond the ordinary. One night, as she lay beneath the twinkling sky, a gentle breeze carried a mysterious melody to her ears. Mesmerized by the enchanting tune, Lily followed its ethereal trail deep into the heart of dreamy wonderland. There. Amidst the whispering trees and shimmering streams, she discovered a hidden path leading to an ancient, moss-covered bridge. Without hesitation, Lily stepped onto the bridge, her heart pounding with excitement. As she crossed over, the world around her began to transform, shifting into a realm of pure magic and wonder. Trees blossomed with candy-colored leaves, and rivers flowed with liquid moonlight. Every step she took was a leap into the unknown, each moment filled with new delights and surprises. In dreamy wonderland, Lily encountered creatures straight out of her wildest dreams, friendly dragons who breathed clouds of cotton candy, mischievous fairies who danced on rays of sunlight, and talking animals who shared tales of faraway lands. Together, they embarked on daring adventures, soaring through the skies on the back of a rainbow-hued phoenix and delving into the depths of enchanted forests in search of hidden treasures. With each adventure, 
Lily's spirit soared higher, her imagination boundless. But as dawn approached, casting its golden light upon dreamy wonderland, Lily knew her time in this magical realm was drawing to a close. With a heavy heart, she bid farewell to her newfound friends, promising to return one day soon. And though she returned to her village with the first light of dawn, Lily carried the memories of her dreamy adventures in her heart forevermore. For in dreamy wonderland, she had learned that the greatest adventures were those born from the depths of imagination, and that dreams no matter how wild or whimsical, could lead to the most extraordinary journeys of all. Once upon a time, in the quaint village of Willowbrook, there lived a young boy named Andy. Andy was unlike any other child in the village. While his peers were content with the simplicity of their everyday lives, Andy dreamt of grand adventures beyond the borders of Willowbrook. Every night, Andy would lay beneath the twinkling stars, imagining himself sailing across vast oceans, climbing towering mountains, and exploring mysterious forests. His dreams were filled with excitement and wonder, fueling his desire for adventure. One crisp autumn morning, as the golden leaves danced in the breeze, Andy decided it was time to turn his dreams into reality. With a determined heart and a spark of courage, he set off on his very own adventure. Through enchanted forests and meandering streams, Andy journeyed far and wide, encountering magical creatures and mystical beings along the way. He rode on the back of a friendly dragon, soared through the clouds with a flock of graceful birds, and danced with fairies beneath the shimmering moonlight. But amidst all the wonder and splendor, Andy faced challenges and obstacles that tested his bravery and resolve. He braved stormy seas, ventured into dark caverns, and outwitted cunning foes with wit and ingenuity. Through it all, Andy remained steadfast in his pursuit of adventure, never losing sight of his dreams. And as he traveled across distant lands and distant realms, he discovered that the greatest adventure of all was the journey within himself. With each passing day, Andy grew wiser and stronger, learning valuable lessons about courage, kindness, and the power of imagination. And when he finally returned to Willowbrook, he brought with him not only tales of his daring escapades, but also a newfound sense of purpose and fulfillment. From that day forth, Andy became known as the bravest adventurer in all the land, inspiring others to follow their dreams and embark on their own magical journeys. And as he gazed up at the stars each night, he knew that his greatest adventure had only just begun. Once upon a time in the rolling hills of Green Meadow, there lived a young boy named Billy. Billy was a dreamer, his head always in the clouds, imagining fantastical adventures beyond the horizon. One starry night, as Billy lay tucked beneath his cozy quilt, he dreamed of a land where giants roamed the earth. In his dream, he embarked on a daring quest to meet the legendary giant of Mount Everpeak, said to possess a heart as big as the mountains themselves. With a heart full of courage, Billy set out on his dreamy adventure, following the winding path through whispering forests and babbling brooks. Along the way, he encountered friendly woodland creatures who joined him on his journey. As they approached the towering peak of Mount Everpeak, Billy's excitement grew. But when they finally reached the summit, they were met not by a fearsome giant, but by a gentle giant 
named Gideon. Gideon was unlike any giant Billy had ever imagined. He was kind-hearted and gentle, with eyes that sparkled like the stars above. Together, they shared stories of their dreams and adventures, and Billy discovered that giants were not the fearsome creatures he had thought them to be. But their newfound friendship was soon put to the test when a wicked sorcerer cast a dark spell over the land, enveloping it in eternal darkness. With courage and determination, Billy and Gideon set out to defeat the sorcerer and restore light to the world. Through enchanted forests and treacherous valleys, they journeyed, facing countless challenges along the way. But with their unwavering friendship and belief in the power of dreams, they overcame every obstacle in their path. And when they finally reached the sorcerer's lair atop the highest peak, Billy confronted him with a heart full of bravery and a mind full of dreams. With a wave of his hand and a twinkle in his eye, Billy shattered the darkness and banished the sorcerer from the land forever. As the first rays of dawn broke through the clouds, the land was bathed in light once more, and the people rejoiced. Billy and Gideon were hailed as heroes, their names forever etched in the annals of legend. And as Billy returned home to Green Meadow, he knew that his dreamy adventure had only just begun. For in a world filled with magic and wonder, anything is possible when you